Well, for the first time tonight, we are hearing from the brother of a three-year-old girl who died after overdosing on meth at a foster home. It was the second time that she overdosed in a matter of days. KPIX 5 Susie Steimel tonight on why hundreds of foster children in California are falling through the cracks. Sorry, Dad. It's a school night at the Villanueva house. The seven-year-old, we'll call him Jay for this story, is spending time with his parents and his sisters, Jasper and Sydney. He's playing the recorder, jumping on the trampoline, showing off his electric cars, and planning every kid's dream vacation, which of course means Disneyland. <laughs> things are blissfully normal, which is a brand new thing for Jay. He was just adopted. I'm excited I'm going to stay with this family forever. But Jay's story is far from a fairy tale. His ever after won't always be happy. His before makes that impossible. Two years ago, his three-year-old biological sister Mariah died in this foster home in Stockton of a methamphetamine overdose. According to documents we obtained from San Joaquin County, Jay begged his foster mother, Maria Moore, to take Mariah to the hospital after hearing her talking about spiders that weren't there and seeing that her tummy was shaking really hard. Instead, Moore put her down for a nap and found her stiff and cold hours later. When an ambulance finally was called, paramedics say Mariah had already passed away. When I heard she went to the hospital, I was getting, I got wonders, bad wonders, and it, one of my most fears happened. It was a fear Jay recognized because he had seen his three-year-old sister overdosing just a week before in the same foster home, a home the siblings had just been placed in. They had something they weren't supposed to in my other um, family, and she ate it. The first time Mariah ingested meth, doctors were able to save her, but the hospital and social workers then sent her right back to that same foster home. Somebody should have done something. Shannon Villanueva is Jay's adoptive mother. I mean, we're not talking about a single incident that you know, oh, there, you know, something terrible happened and how could we have known? This, it happened twice. This little girl's case is extreme, but not unique. State inspection records show children on a daily basis being molested, locked in closets, beaten, starved, and denied clothing in foster care in California. Over the past five years, 27 children have died of abuse or neglect in California foster care. The big problem here is that no one knows. The press doesn't know about it. The public doesn't know about it. The extended family and neighbors don't know about it. Darren Kessler, the Villanueva family attorney, says because the cases involve children, the information is protected by law. But the law often protects the system better than the children themselves. There is a conflict of interest of the people who have the information that can and should reveal that information because if they do and they're responsible, they're the ones getting in trouble. Take Mariah's case. Police had been called to Maria Moore's foster home 49 times in the five years prior to the little girl's death for various disturbances, six of which were referred to Child Protective Services. Yet Triad Family Services, a foster care agency, still placed the siblings there. It even allowed Moore to continue fostering children and collecting money for six months after after Mariah's death. They didn't want to talk to us. Can you please leave our property? You're on private property. I'm calling the police. Alameda County Social Services, the county agency that contracted with Triad to place the children, wouldn't answer any questions either. I'm sorry, no comment. Thank you. Neither would the San Joaquin District Attorney. Instead, they sent us a statement saying, quote, no charges would be filed. Back at the Villanueva house, not a day goes by that Jay doesn't need to talk about his sister. Shannon says he blames himself. When he found out that it was, you know, something that she had gotten into, he said, I should have been watching her. I should have been with her. So, yeah, he has a lot of survivor's guilt. Despite how cruel the world has been to this seven-year-old boy, he's not feeling sorry for himself or lonely. When someone passes away, it's n it doesn't mean they're gone. It means they're still with you, but they're not, like... It's not like they're with you in real life, they're with you in everybody's hot hearts. In Brentwood, Susie Steimel, KPIX5.
The Villanuevas say that they hope this story will convince other families to see the dire need that's out there and think about fostering. They are suing the county and the foster mother on behalf of their newly adopted son.